Hey guys, today let's learn how to go ahead and remove objects from your photo in CapCut. So if you guys are wondering how to remove some of those unwanted objects on your photos through CapCut, it's going to be pretty easy. All we need to do is to go ahead and launch the CapCut application. Basically, once we are here, I would like you guys to also log on to your preferred account. And once we're already there, in order for us to easily remove some of those unwanted artifacts or unwanted objects on the CapCut application, of course, is to go ahead and firstly import our necessary file. So once we're already here, let's tap on this new project option. And let's go ahead and proceed with tapping on allow full access to our galleries. And once we're already here, I'd like you guys to proceed with tapping on your preferred video that you'd like to go ahead and just remove some of those unwanted artifacts from. All right, so once you've already found it, that preferred video that you'd like to go ahead and use for this specific example, in order for us to basically remove some of those artifacts is pretty easy. Basically, you need to have two videos. So I'm going to go ahead and create a video right now. And let's say here is our blank shot. So I'm going to tap on video right here and I'm going to go ahead and create my establishing shot. So here is the video without any artifacts. And of course, in this case, let's just go ahead and put our finger through here and remove it. And let's say that that is our specific artifact that we'd like to go ahead and remove. So in order for us to basically accomplish removing that is going to be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and just import that through CapCut real quick. And in order for us to proceed with actually removing that from the CapCut or from the video, we need to go ahead and tap on this video and then there is actually some options for us to use on here and let's go ahead and just cut this video right around where the finger starts to come in we can actually go ahead and just tap on this option tap on the video and let's go ahead and cut this real quick split it right there and let's put this over onto the bottom and once that is done we can actually now proceed with tapping on the basic over here to proceed with actually creating a mask so instead let's go ahead and tap on this mask option let's tap on circle and in this case i want to go ahead and basically resize this circle to fit that finger so let's go ahead and just do a quick resize of this circle to fit this finger. And then we could always go ahead and now tap on play. And as you would notice, there is our finger. So from here, I'm going to tap on the check mark. And then what I want to do is to go ahead and tap on this once more. Let's go ahead and tap on that mask that we just did. And what I want to do from here is to basically invert this mask. I'm going to go ahead and invert this mask real quick, tap on the check mark once more. And then from here, I'd like to go ahead and add another layer. So in this case, let's see if that is actually possible. Let's see if the overlay is available. Let's go ahead and tap on this same video. And as you would notice, it is going to be a trimming. And now we have the same video overlaying on it. So let's go ahead and just tap on this video. Let's do a quick resize of this video. So we're going to go ahead and resize this. Let's go ahead and try to tap on the basic once more and tap on scale and put this a little bit larger. All right. So let's make it fit the whole screen, tap on the check mark. And as you would notice, once this video is going to be played all the way through, the finger is now gone. As you would notice, this specific mask is going to be applied. And that's how you can easily remove an object from your videos or photos as well. It's going to work vice versa on CapCut.